So good evening, everyone. My name is Dr. Jennifer Taylor Mendoza, and I am the proud president of West Valley College. Thank you. Oh, thanks. Appreciate it. Before we get started, there were so many folks who coordinated this fantastic event. And so if you're here and you were part of it, can we please give them a round of applause, all the folks who worked so hard to coordinate, to design the food menu, all of that. Thank you so much. So we have an exciting event tonight. So 60 years of excellence. 60 years of academic excellence. I am honored to welcome you all to the kickoff event for West Valley College's 60th anniversary celebration. <laughs> for our 60th year, we have planned a series of activities to showcase the college. In my seven months here, I have experienced firsthand the care, the kindness, and sincere support the community has for the college. And I know we have many donors and community partners here today, and we thank you. Can we give them an applaud, please? Thank you. West Valley College is a special place. The positive energy is strong, and I feel a keen sense of belonging and responsibility to this campus. They say that you land where you are meant to be, and I landed in just the right place. A place built on the foundation of passion, dedication to education and service. It all began in June of 1964, where the college sent out its first schedule of classes and the response was so immediate that hundreds of students enrolled for classes. On September 14th of that year, West Valley College served its first student at Campbell Grammar School with over 3,200 students and 60 faculty and staff to welcome them. Thanks to the founder, emeriti, donors, alumni, and current students for making the college what it is today. Athletes, yes, yes, yes. Today we honor and hear from them directly. Our notable college founders, the history is our institution from those who built it and transformed it to the outstanding college it is today. So this evening, we have Chancellor Bradley Davis, um, West Valley Mission Community College District. We have Mrs. Cookie Finn Simmons, former mayor of the city of Saratoga, West Valley alum and longtime supporter of the college. Dr. Lydia Gloris Harris, a highly regarded educator whose passion helped build the foundation of the College Early Childhood Education Department. <laughs> Justin Edward Pinelli, a founding member of the West Valley Mission Community College District Board. <laughs> Mr. Dick Schindwinder, Schindwinder? Dick. Schindwindiger, thank you, it's okay, help, who commenced his 22-year tenure as a founding faculty member and coach at West Valley College. And Dr. Melvin Tuscher, a founding faculty member of the college who later served as the president from 1976 to 1981. Thank you all for being here with us. Could you hear that okay? Yeah. So I'm going to kick off this uh, wonderful panel discussion with all this expertise with um, Cookie Fitzsimmons. And so uh, reflecting on your time, Cookie, at West Valley College, how did the college experience shape your personal and professional development? Thank you, Madam President. It's an honor to be here. I'm so excited to be here. So I was born and raised in Saratoga in the 1960s. And it turns out that West Valley College was born in the 1960s as well. So West Valley College and I kind of grew up together. 
Um, at the time, in the 1960s, the expectation was to go to college and get a job. And the question is, how did uh, West Valley shape my life? And I'd like to talk about the themes of growth, self-discovery, and embracing one's true identity. So you're probably all familiar with the movie The Lion King, and there's a song in there called Circle of Life. And I just keep coming back to a couple lines in that song that just really touch my heart and what's meaningful with those lines and its relationship to West Valley College. And it's very simple, and those, that short line is, until we find our place on the path unwinding. That's very meaningful to me, especially in relation to West Valley College. So I really got to know West Valley College after I graduated from UCLA. And where it helped me the most was uh, when I was between jobs. So when you have a job, things are good, but when you're in between jobs, you're kind of lost. And there was a time, there's been a few times like that, uh, one time in particular, I got laid off at Stanford. I was doing research at Stanford, got laid off, and I need a job. So what do I do? I talk to my mom, and we go, well, you know what? Let's open a flower shop in Saratoga Village. And we looked at each other and thought, did we really? Are we? What? We didn't know what we were doing. Turns out West Valley College was having classes, uh, retail florist classes, top to bottom, how to do the books, how to do present, how to had everything you wanted to know about uh, uh, running a flower shop. So that was a cherished time with my mom and myself. We had the flower shop in the village for 11 years. Unfortunately, my mom passed away of breast cancer. Uh, five months later, I'm diagnosed with breast cancer, and that was the end of that. So I'm out of a job again. So now, now what do I do? So I knew once, if something happened with the flower shop, I'd want to go back to Stanford and get back into research. But I did not have computer skills. And where did I go? West Valley College. So I got my computer skills grabbed up, got the good job at Stanford, stayed there for eight years, and it was golden. So that's how West Valley College has worked into my life. Um, between the stepping stones for me, the, the, the times when it's not so good, that's when West Valley was there for me. So my experience at West Valley have taught me the importance of transformative power of learning and the powerful reminder of embracing one's true identity. West Valley College stands proud as an example of accessible education, ready to guide us on our journey of discovery. And once again, to quote from the song, until we find our place on the path unwinding. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much. Thank you. So, Dick, do we have the next question for you. So, an impressive 22 years at West Valley College, 18 of them coaching um, our men's uh, soccer team. So, what are some unforgettable moments? What does that mean to me? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Well, it was a second home for me, and it, I'm so proud and so pleased to have been a part of West Valley and all the wonderful students who came across that I had an opportunity to work with. It was a pleasure all those many years I was at West Valley and met some great people along the way and uh, great students. And it's, a a, it's been a pleasure since, the, since day one. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, Chancellor Davis, during your time as president, uh, and we know you served for seven years. Where did you find your inspiration? Great question. Um, I find my inspiration every day working with a community of educators who are so dedicated to serving our community. I get to be around some of the most brilliant people in their respective fields, many of whom are here today. We have former presidents, former chancellors, amazing instructors like Lance Shoemaker, who's, who's right back there. I think being part of an intellectual community just allows you to continue to grow in so many ways that when you begin your career, you couldn't anticipate. The opportunity to work with students, to be a mentor, a friend, sometimes a psychologist, uh, whatever they need in the moment, uh, and to hopefully make a, an indelible mark on their life is something that gets me out of bed every single day. 
Um, and of course, to be able to work with superstars like our new president. A lot of people have told me, Brad, you made a great hire there. Her star is so bright, anybody could have made that hire. Uh, but it's the people that makes this place wonderful. Generations of students, faculty, staff, and administrators that, that are West Valley College. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Lydia. Yeah. So what inspired you to become part of West Valley College, and how did you help shape the institution's academic culture? Well, when I first came to California, um, I wanted to start working. And at that time, there were lots of jobs, which I was very fortunate about. And I chose West Valley because, first, it was a glorious-looking campus. Uh, but also because they were offering me the kind of job that I wanted. I didn't want to be an administrator. I wanted to be a teacher working with children and working with students and working with faculty. And so I said, I think this is the place where I want to be. I got several job offers. I really did at that time you did. And so I said, which one do I want? And this is the one that I chose. And I was so thrilled when to share called me up and said, you have a job. I said, woo! <laughs> that was for me. Um, and I tell you that I really, really love the idea that I could build. Uh, I could dream, and I could have a good time. The first thing I need to tell you is that right away I said, it's not early childhood. It's child development. And I kept saying to everyone, do not call it early childhood. I think bigger than that. Um, and I think that I kept saying that over and over and over again. And what do I see in the program? Early childhood. <laughs> it's not early childhood, it's child development. And at that time, we didn't have mission. Uh, but I still knew that that was in the, in the forefront. And so at that time, I also said, we're a district. And so we want to think about Mission College, and I did. I thought Mission College, West Valley College, they're the same. So I built those two departments, and I did. And I always said, we're going to be the best. We're not going to try hard to make it almost the best. It's the best. And so I did that very thing. I went after grants. Uh, this college said we didn't need grants. I said, hogwash. We need grants. Uh, and so I went after grants for both colleges. And we built this place. And it was child development. <laughs> so <laughs> not early childhood. And so we, the whole scope. And I had the best staff, always hired the best. I would not take anybody but the best. I always throw for that. So when I look at the, the curriculum, I made the best curriculum. I became Academic Senate President. I did all of that because I wanted to strive for the best. And so I always said, that's what I'm after, the best. And we are the best. Childhood, the best. <laughs> Thank you, I love that. Uh, Justice Ed Pinelli, um, so what contributed to the establishment of West Valley College? And what were the initial goals and vision for the institution? Well, we started out, we weren't very well received, especially in Saratoga. That's why I find it very interesting that we ended up with the campus here, which is now the jewel of Saratoga. But I never told people that I lived in Saratoga, uh, that the people that I lived in Saratoga, that I was connected to West Valley College, because that was a no-no. But uh, it, was, it was an opportunity to start an institution from the beginning. We selected this first group of faculty. It was like a family. You knew everybody by a first name. Mm -hmm. Everybody was very hospitable. Uh, it was really a joy to, to come to the meetings that lasted forever. Yeah, uh, they did. My they son did. who brought me here was born during one of our meetings. My wife called and she was in labor. She said, you got to get home. Because we'd go to 2 o'clock in the morning for some reason. Yes, we did. And it, one of the side benefits, I should say, of 
or one of the detriments of West Valley. When I had my confirmation hearing for either the Court of Appeal or the Supreme Court, a former student of West Valley College came and objected. <laughs> and it was a student that we used to come, he used to come to all of our board meetings. He would line up a, uh, a microphone at, uh, and record all of our meetings. And so one day he was interfering with Dr. Hall's presentation, and Dr. Hall had him arrested. So he was charged with you know, some, something or other so that he, he never forgot that <laughs> anyway. But it was, it was an exciting time to, to start. And when we started in the Campbell School District, I remember how great it was, because you know, we were paying $300 a seat to, to the community colleges who were taking our students. So all this money was going out, and we decided we better stop this. So we decided we put the portables in Campbell, and then w with the classrooms, and then obviously we came out and acquired West Valley College with the land, which was interesting. We started at $9,000 an acre, ended up at $24,000 an acre. It just it was, it was amazing. But I'm just, I can't be proud. You know, to be the father of something is really something that you never forget. And I'm 92 years old and I haven't forgotten that yet, but there are other things that I have. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, that's a beautiful response. So, Mel Tusher, former president, and he already gave me some advice, but we won't. <laughs> You can share that if you want. But you served nearly 30 years at the college, wow, in a variety of roles, including as president for five years. So what lessons did you learn? <laughs> what lessons? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I learned how to take a lot of criticism. <laughs> <laughs> no matter what decision one I made, there was somebody that took exception to it. The, the job of president is like that. It was six years ago that I went into Dr. Hall's office for an interview. I talked with Dr. Hall, and he says, we want to hire you. And I said, wow, that was quick. And so I was the second math instructor hired. Jack Pease was the first. He was transferred over from San Jose College. And so there were just the two of us in the math department. Yeah. And uh, yeah. we had uh, a, a, a small curriculum at the time. But as the years went by, we added courses, and, and it became more a bigger curriculum, more, more for the students to to see. But I had 30 years at West Valley College. Those were the best 30 years of my life, especially the first year. The first year we were met at all of the faculty for the first time, and we, were, it, we, we just got along so well, and that first year was uh, wonderful. But after the first year, <laughs> you start taking on different problems, and <laughs> but we uh, solved them. Uh, I enjoyed my time, 30 years at West Valley College. I've been retired 30 years, so it's been a long time, and I forget a lot what went on. But uh, I know that I had a great time, and it was a great career. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Mission College. Oh, can I? I'd like Phil, to add a quick yeah. story about Mel. He is something of a president emeritus. He's provided advice to all of us about how to carefully navigate this landscape and to do it well. And he's something of a towering giant among West Valley people over the years. But I used to have a picture in my office that had the pictures of all the first year faculty. And I wondered why the one guy, Mel Tusher, had only had a picture of the top of his head. I thought that he was incredibly short. 
So all this time, I thought Mel Tucher was four feet tall. And then when I met him, I realized he's actually a towering giant. We needed to work on that stool, Mel. But I just want to say thank you for all the time that you spent with me and with Jennifer and with others thank to you. really make this place great. I appreciate you so much. Thank you. Yeah. And campus community, one advice, piece of advice he gave me is to stay in my office and close the door. <laughs> <laughs> and they know I can't do that, right? <laughs> I love that. That was brilliant. Thank you. Okay, Brad, we're going to go back to you. Uh, so what do you imagine for the future West Valley Mission Community College District? Wow. I, I, I think Judge Pinelli said it best. I think this is the jewel of Saratoga and the South Bay. Uh, we're really proud of the work we've done, not only to develop the physical plant, this beautiful environment that you see, but wonderful curriculum that really serves the needs of the community with an emphasis on diversity and inclusion and really making our path and being a leader of community colleges and universities uh, in the Bay Area. We're going to have to evolve, no doubt. There are many challenges on the horizon for us, but I feel that this community of educators is up to the challenge and we'll capitalize on all the wonderful gifts that we have from a terrific board of trustees, an amazing campus, dedicated faculty, and classified staff, many of whom are here tonight that oftentimes don't get the recognition they deserve, but they're kind of the organ through which the institutions breathe. I, I feel like everybody that works at this district in any role does it because of their love of community and in service to students. And when that's the case, you can accomplish anything. So our future is so bright, I couldn't do it justice by trying to tell you what I think. It's all right here. This is the future of the West Valley Mission Community College District. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. Uh, Justice, back to you. So you mentioned already some challenges yeah. that happened and during those early years. How did you overcome to establish a solid, a solid foundation for the college? Well, I, mean, I think you know the seven of us that started were really dedicated to doing a first class job. You know, the big deal was at that time was Foothill. Everybody, yeah. you know, Foothill College. Well, we could, we could have <laughs> Foothill, Foothill. And so we, we really went about the people that we hired to start with, our administrators and the faculty. Uh, but really, we could never pass a bond issue, which was very sad. You know, it's interesting. We built this campus on a pay-as-you-go basis, which you could not do today. What, what that meant was that if we built two buildings, we had that on the tax rails that year. We had to raise the taxes to pay for that during that year, rather than spreading it out as you would a mortgage. So that was a challenge to us to, to do it. But we were bound to determine that we were going to get this campus started. And we did. And then you know the question is, were we going to then go across to mission? And when we were going to do that? Yeah. It was. You know, it's hard to, to really express how it feels when you're starting with a group of people that all had the same goal, the same drive, and got along even though we may have had some differences. Uh, and we had some differences. Uh, <laughs> but you know, it was interesting. We would, our board meetings would go until be, I became chair. I said, we have the 10 o'clock rule. We're going to get through by 10. But we used to go late at night, and everybody smoked cigars. And I used to, my wife says, don't you even come into the house with that suit. Hang it outside, because here you had seven people. Well, Dr. Hall did not smoke, for sure. But the trustees, the seven of us, all sat there with cigars. They're crazy. Thank you. Thank you. So Dick, as you know, our, our men's basketball team just won the championship. <laughs> and, and you, right. you, Dick, won two championships and seven league titles. So I don't even know what to ask you, but I'm just amazed. Talk to us a little, uh, share with us just about that moment, about athletics and about that Did moment. You have to start over. I, I was listening to no worries, yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, I will, no worries. You're, a, you're a, a coach and a champion. 
and you won uh, two championships and had seven league titles. And so you were very involved with athletics and just wanted to know a little bit about that, the importance of athletics in the college. What was what? Athletics. Importance of athletics to you. What does athletics mean to me? Yes, yes. Well, it, it means everything to me. That's my life. And I couldn't find a better place to do it than right where we are at West Valley. So it's been a pleasure since the day one. And I was a founding member of the college right there. And so I've treasured every moment that I've been there. It's been a pleasure the, all the years. Thank you. Yeah, for amazing coach. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, so Mel, um, so as one of the two founding math faculty at the college in 1964, what excited you most about shaping the campus culture? Coming to board meetings and trying to get pay raises. <laughs> Uh-oh, a little baggage. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Yeah. <laughs> he used to come with charts showing what attorneys made and the, the pie chart way up here, and then what teachers made way down here. And so he said, well, that's, I'm in the wrong category here. <laughs> Sounds very familiar. <laughs> that's wonderful. OK. Thank you. What was the question again? <laughs> Uh, where do I start? Um, what, you know, you, you, were able to shape, you were able to shape the campus future because you were one of the first two faculty members. Yes. So what was that like? What was it like? It was fun and interesting. Uh, I, I started out as a math instructor, and then I became the uh, math department chairman. After three years, then I became the division chairman. And then when... Uh, Mission College opened up. I became the Dean of Instruction of West Valley College, and that for four years. And then the president's presidency opened at uh, West Valley College, and, and Jim Hardy took me in as his president. So I, I became president of West Valley College, and Jim Hardy became the chancellor for the district of the two colleges. And uh, that, was, uh, uh, that was a difficult job, because I. I was a faculty member, a very popular faculty member. And then I took on the job as, yeah. as the president. And I had to make decisions about my f colleagues. And some of those decisions were, Difficult. Th th were troublesome with them. And so th they became uh, my best friends. Sometimes I, I lost my best friends as a result of that. But yeah. uh, that was the difficult part. I, I should have gone to another college if I were, for sure, presidency to 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 come president of a college where you grew up with everybody from the beginning, and then you have to make those decisions which yes. affected them. That was difficult to overcome. Very, very, very difficult. I remember. Thank you for that. <laughs> Wealth of knowledge. So Lydia, yeah. um, child development. Good. Right? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so you already talked about the curriculum. Um, how do you see your contribution, contributions impacting our current program? Well, I see them uh, as standing back and letting my colleagues go forward with things that I've built. Um, and I really look at the colleges as two colleges, West Valley and Mission. Uh, I always strive for that, although I think of them uh, together. They, I, I gave them their name of child development and didn't let them say early childhood. I don't believe in the term nursery school. That's out. Uh, but some things I maintained, like the dignity uh, of the children so that the staff dress properly. I don't let them wear shorts and all that kind of stuff. And I see that that kind of thing is still there that dignity that I developed so that when parents pick up their children, they can see that staff care for them. And I really believe in that. And I think that that's important to maintain. Um, and I, I honestly believe that that's how I contributed to the departments. Uh, so I don't meddle. I don't interfere. 
but I watch. I'm always watching, and if they do something that I don't think is correct, I gently say, did you forget dignity? We want to have dignity and professionalism. Thank you very much. I talked about that at the camp, all camp meetings. Today. Thank you. <laughs> so, Cookie, uh, how do you see the college serving the community? Thank you, Madam President. Um, I see West Valley serving the community um, by providing the space and the opportunity for people to connect. Um, opportunities for innovation, creativity, and socializing, which leads to meaningful growth. Uh, this allows us, each of us, to embrace our true, true identity. Okay. Thank you so much. So we have uh, one more concluding question. So, and we can start maybe with you, Cookie. What advice would you give current students, our students today? Some oh students my goodness! Yeah. Go for it. You're in it to win it. It's uh, such a valuable education. Um, I'm still talking about it 40 years later. So yeah, it really shapes you. Uh, be in it to win it. Go for it. Thank you. Thank you. Lydia? I say never give up. Go, go, go. Just like she said. You can do it. Everybody can do it. I did it. You do it. You can do it. Go for it. And go all the way. PhD, JD, the whole way. And never say you can't do it. Yes, you can. <laughs> and then Dick? Adv any advice for our students, Dick? What was I? Uh, any advice for students? What would you tell students today? What was advice? the question? I didn't hear it myself. Oh. <laughs> you didn't any hear advice? it. No, so, I, that's why I was standing advice up. For <laughs> advice, I'll for help them. advice for students? Yes, advice. Well, uh, stay with it and never give up. Right. And uh, regardless of what you're faced with, take on the challenge. Take it on. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. Same question. Same question. I concur with D Dick. <laughs> <laughs> and Lydia and Susie, we all said yeah. the same thing. Go for it. Go for it. Go for it. Okay. okay, that's it. You hear that, everyone. Go for it. <laughs> Brad, anything? I have been fortunate to have three great loves in my life. My wife and family, the game of baseball, and my work at West Valley College. So I think I would say, do what you love and pursue it with full gusto. Oh, love it. Thank you so much. Thank you. As a first generation student, I tell them education is the magic key. It gets you into a lot of doors. It gives you a whole opportunity to do good for many, many people. So I say, go for it. Keep in school as long as you need to. But it's, uh, it's, it, is, it is the magic key in the US to be educated. I have one more thing to add. Sure. And have a wonderful husband like I had. I yeah. <laughs> <laughs> love that. OK. You know, we have a, a little time, if you all are fine to entertain this. Are there any questions from the audience at all? Any? If not? Don't be shy. Don't be shy. Yeah. Ask away. That's OK. Yes. Kim. Do any of you remember working with Smitty Sanchez? With who? Working with Smitty. I do. Oh, of Sorry. course. He was wonderful. Yeah, I just, I'll repeat the question. Do any of you Smitty. remember working with Tom Smith, Smitty, who founded the park management program? Naturally, we all knew him. Yeah, Tom Smith, we worked with him. Yes, he was yeah. great. He was great. We loved him. We loved him. Everybody in the audience know, knows him. Uh, Ted, everybody. Uh, Tina, we have a question over here. Thanks. Thank you very much. Um, I would like to ask what it was that inspired all of you to achieve what you did in life? What was your inspiration? Oh, my husband, my family, me. Okay, your husband, your family, and me, and yourself. My parents, yeah. my parents, definitely my parents. My mother and father said, we want to be, be the best. And certainly, I can't say that, that they, I mean, that's it. 
Don't you agree? Anyone else want to answer yeah. that? Yeah. Well, I think, you know, myself coming from a family who's were uneducated and unskilled and made, made it the hard way, there was education was preached to me every day. Yep. And I never came home and told them that I had a problem at school, because if I had a problem at school, I would have a huge problem at home. Absolutely. <laughs> but you know, they came from an area where, there, where education wasn't available. And that's what I tell people. You know, when I think of when I started, I was not English speaking. And there's sometimes some of the judge, some of the lawyers, the judges still don't speak English. So. <laughs> <laughs> I believe that. <laughs> and you wanted to be better than Foothill too. I think that was a big, think that was a big contributor. To it was. Lunch. It was a challenge. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. We had better staff than they did, though. <laughs> <laughs> we still do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah we, <laughs> Brad. I, I think my background is pretty similar to the judges. Um, you know, my grandparents were sixth grade dropouts. My parents graduated high school but had no college. And I felt that education for me was the key out of Western Pennsylvania. That was an opportunity for me to see the world and fulfill my potential. And I think that's a message that I always try to relay to students. No matter what your, your potential is, do your best to maximize it. And education is the best, most important tool you can use to get there. Awesome. Thank you. And one thing is the education that is received here, I've seen its result in students becoming lawyers and yeah. going to law school. And you find out there, where did you go to school? It started at West Valley, which is you really Really, I, I, I really like that. Oh, yes, I do too. Go Vikings. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> OK, on that note, can we give a, a round of applause, please, to our wonderful panelists. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you.